Hi friends, today we learn about PNS guided adductor canal block. The adductor canal, also called as a subsartorial block because the sartorial muscle forms the roof of the adductor canal or the hunter's canal after John Hunter who first described the uh, exposure and ligation of the femoral artery here for the pop detail aneurysm or the saphenous nerve block because after giving the muscular branches the femoral nerve continues as the saphenous nerve which lies in the adductor canal and hence it's also called the motor sparing block. Adductor canal block gained popularity in daycare surgeries as part of enhanced recovery for procedures around the knee, mainly due to the fact that it is a motor sparing block and hence allows early ambulation and discharge. The main indications include sensory anesthesia for procedures involving distal thigh and femur, knee and lower leg on medial side, anesthesia and analgesia intraoperatively and postoperatively for surgeries to the anterior part of knee, knee arthroscopy, the ligament repair and constructions, the patella surgeries, with popliteal block for all the surgeries below the knee, superficial surgeries to the medial side of the leg. All benefit with an adductor canal block. Coming to a short description of the anatomy, the femoral nerve continues after the femoral triangle and giving away the muscular branches, it continues in the adductor canal along with the femoral artery and the vein. The sartorius muscle forms the roof of the adductor canal. Here it is cut to show the structures beneath it. The adductor canal is a conical or pyramidal in shape and triangular in cross-section. The boundaries anterolaterally is the vastus medialis. Posteriorly, you have the adductor longus and the magnus, gracilis behind. Anteromedially, it is bounded by a strong aponeurosis that extends between the adductors across the vessels, that is the vasoadductor membrane. The adductor canal contains branches from the femoral nerve that is the saphenous nerve which is the purely sensory nerve and nerve to the vastus medialis which is the muscular branch along with the femoral artery and the femoral vein. There is also few branches of the obturator nerve. The saphenous nerve and the nerve to the vastus medialis contribute to the innervations of the anteromedial knee joint and are important targets for adductor canal block. It's the muscular branch that is the nerve to the vastus medialis that can be stimulated by the PNS and the end motor response of contractions of the vastus medialis muscle that forms the basis of the PNS guided adductor canal block. Coming to the landmark, the ergonomics, the leg to be blocked is semi-flexed at the knee and slightly abducted at the hip with the person who is blocking stands on the opposite side. Okay. And then holds the sartorius and gracilis after feeling the vastus medialis. See, this is the vastus medialis. You find the groove between the vastus medialis and the sartorius muscle. Hold the sartorius and gracilis on the left hand. Mark the adductor tubercle on the medial condyle of the femur. This is the femoral condyle. The vastus medialis. This is the lower boundary of the vastus medialis. Draw a triangle. That is the sartorius border. Okay. That's the point of needle entry. This is the Zobert's fossa. 
the group between the Vestus medialis and the sartorius is called the zobod's fossa. That is the point of needle entry. Okay, you can clearly see where the thumb is going. Is the group between the vestus medialis and the sartorius. The point of needle entry is around 7 to 8 centimeters from the adductor tubercle on the femoral condyl or around four finger breadths. Okay, this is the point of needle entry. Now, your thumb is in the Zobot's fossa. That is the group between the vastus medialis and the sartorius. You are holding the sartorius and the gracilis on your left hand, standing on the opposite side and using a 5 cm stimuplex needle, you enter the groove that is the adductor canal and immediately you can see the patellar dancing that is the contraction of the vastus medialis muscle you get a dancing patella slowly the current is reduced started with 1.5 ma you can see nice contractions of the vastus medialis muscle it's a patellar dancing it has stopped at around 0.37 We recheck by increasing the current slowly. Slight manipulations are required. You got the contractions immediately. Again, we reduce the current. 0 0.6, 0 0.55. Okay. You accept it. And inject around 20 ml of 0.2% ropivacaine in the adductor canal. This was a implant removal at around patella. Okay. Post TKR also, adductor canal block was given. You can see the vestus medialis and the group between the vestus medialis and the sartorius. Using a 5 cm stimuplex needle, you enter the adductor canal and immediately you see the vestus medialis contraction. Reduce the current from 0.1 to 0.5 and slowly to 0.3. You still get the contraction. You can see the contraction very well. Okay. Slight manipulations of the needle is required hardly at around 0.5 to 0.8 centimeters depth. You get the contractions. You accept it around 0.4 and inject around 20 ml of 0.2% ropivacaine in the adductor cap. Hope this video is helpful to you all. Without the use of sonography, you can easily give a ductal canal block using PNS machine. Thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned for more videos. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.